awesome God, how great thou art, how great thou art, you are God, you are God, and mighty are your miracles, we stand in awe of your holy name, Lord we bow, Lord we bow and worship you. Come on, sing it with me this morning. Awesome God, we love you, Jesus. How great thou art. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. And Lord, we bow and worship you sing that holy are you lord sing it to him holy are you lord all creation we call you god i feel that anointing worthy is your name worthy is your name we worship your majesty we worship your majesty awesome God how great thou art you are God and mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow Lord we bow and worship. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order 7 Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, speak to your people on this morning. Minister to them. Touch them. Encourage them. Mend together broken hearts. Bring unity, God. Heal the hurts. Heal the scars. Deep scars. Deep wounds. Lord, touch your people this morning. Bring comfort in the midst of turmoil like only you can give your people a peace that pass it all man's understanding we pray for divine protection over your people God Lord please help us to stay focused on Jesus help us not to lose sight of the cross for Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost and the enemy will do everything in his power to divide your people and to distract them from the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But Satan, we declare to you this morning that we refuse to give in to your devices. We are not ignorant of your devices. We resist to eat from your table. We resist to bite that fruit that you're trying to offer us. We curse you we resist you in the name of Jesus Christ for the word of God declares resist the devil resist the devil and he will flee from you we resist you this morning we expose you for who you are you are a liar and you're the father of all lies we bind you this morning 
blood of Jesus is against you this morning and no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise against us in judgment we condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we give you praise this morning bless your people we pray in Jesus name someone say amen oh glory to God glory to God listen on this morning I'm talking about something very important here your prayer is working I want to encourage you on this morning your prayer is working let's go right into the book of Luke chapter 11 this is a passage of scripture that I love and you will notice if you watch this broadcast the Holy Spirit will bring us back to this passage of scripture several times a year to encourage God's people you know the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick that means if you prolong somebody's deliverance or their answer from them if you hold back on them too long they would become discouraged and give up but glory to God but God want me to tell you this morning don't give up your prayer is working watch this Luke 11, 5 through 10, Jesus tells a parable, and he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight? Boy, you knock on my door at midnight. You better be my friend. <laughs> and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. That's someone you got a relationship with. But I want you to pay close attention now. He said, For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. I have a friend visiting, boy, but his timing was off. It seems like it, because now I don't have nothing to set before this man for him to eat. And he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot arise and give thee. Man, I love this passage. Jesus said, I say unto you, though he will not arise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, because of his persistence, because of his aggressiveness, his aggressive determination, Jesus said the guy on the inside who first ignored the knocking and the begging from his friend, he will arise and give him as many or as much as he needs. In my opinion, this is one of the most powerful parables that the Lord Jesus gives on prayer. Because he is saying, even though the guy is his friend, he's not going to give it to him because he's his friend, but he will respond because his friend is determined not to take no for an answer. My God, my God, I feel a, I feel a breakthrough. I feel the wind blowing. My God, the Holy Ghost is talking to somebody. Knock again. Ask again. Pray again. You started to get weak. You know the Bible says the promises of God in him are yes and amen. If you are praying in line with the word of God, the prayer is going to be answered. But you got to be determined not to give up. You can't just pray once. And because the prayer isn't answered as fast as you think it should be answered, give up. Don't stop praying for that unsaved husband. That lost son, that lost daughter, that brother, that sister, that cousin, that, em, that employee you work with, you believe in God for their salvation, and it seems like nothing has happened. Hang in there. The breakthrough is headed to your house. The breakthrough is headed to your life. You got to pray and keep on praying. Are you listening to me? You got to knock and keep on knocking. Jesus said, I say unto you, though he will not arise and give him because he is his friend, yet be because of his persistence, his importunity, his aggressive persistence, his, un, his, his not being ashamed to keep on asking. Jesus said, that man on the inside will respond and give him as much as he needs. 
And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asketh, receiveth. To him who seeketh, find it unto the person who knocks. The door shall be open. The Holy Ghost want me to tell you this morning. Your prayer is working. Oh my God, lift your hands to heaven. Say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, pray with me. God, I thank you this morning that the prayers of the saints, the prayers of your blood washed people, your saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled people, their prayer is working. Oh God, I thank you for speaking to them this morning. Strengthen them this morning. God, give them that confirmation in their spirit that any day now their prayer is going to be answered in the name of Jesus Christ we pray my God awesome God awesome God sing it with me this morning how great thou art lift your hands and worship you are God and mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and Lord we bow and worship you come on and sing it to him awesome God how great thou art you are God you are God he is a wonderful Lord this morning listen we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to support the preaching of God's precious word visit us online right now seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zelle account. Our Zelle email address is info at seanpender.net. Info at seanpender.net. And for tax purposes, you must email us your name and mailing address. You can also give through the ministry Cash App account. Our Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 750. Seven zero. We love you, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you, and we don't take you for granted. We are here for you. We are believing God for your miracle, for your breakthrough, for your turnaround. In Jesus' name, make sure click on the subscribe button, that so you can always get these morning prayer broadcasts. You'll be alerted. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the gray bell. Turn on that notification and make sure check out the rest of our videos there will be a blessing to your life we love you god bless you take care now bye bye